As you know, uh, me and uh, right-wing conspiracy theorist fraud, Wayne Allen Root, have gotten into it from time to time. He came on our show, and uh, we've said some nasty things to one another. But really, uh, you know, I called him a scumbag and some other things uh, based on the stuff he says. By the way, he calls people scumbags on his social media every day. He is a fraud, and he is a liar. Well, folks, I will prove it to you right now. Wayne Allen Root was supposed to put together uh, a uh, march for Blue Lives Matter. It was called a Blue Lives Matter march. He claimed there was going to be ten to 20,000 people there. Well, here's what he tweeted yesterday, I believe it was. I am postponing Saturday's pro-police march here in Vegas. All indications are ten to 20,000 people coming. By the way, his last march, he said there were over 10,000 people. Metro Police said there were under 1,000 cars. He goes on to say police from all over the USA. But Vegas police were concerned about our safety. Ask me to postpone. I will honor the request. Safety of my fans. Number one concern always. A Metro putz. Police, yeah, exactly. He's a putz. Puts out, uh, Metro Police puts out a statement saying that they did not give him permission to even use the Metro Police badge, and they had nothing to do with it. They didn't want to be associated with it. And that's when Wayne Allen Root tweeted that out the next day that he was postponing the march. Well, guess what? It turns out Metro Police did not ask him to postpone. Larry Hatfield is with Metro Police. They put out the article in the Las Vegas Sun today. He spoke with the Las Vegas Sun. In regards, when, when Larry Hatfield from Metro was asked about this, here's his response. We didn't say don't do it. You want to have a protest? You can protest about whatever you want. Same rules apply. You have to be peaceful. That's Larry Hatfield from Metro Police who put that out. That is an official statement. Wayne Allen Root is a liar. That's what he does. He lies for a living. When it comes to politics, he lies. When it came to his sports betting tote service, he lied. And now, when it comes to his listenership, the tout service, uh, whatever, tout. tote, tout, whatever. And, and his silver product. Yeah, yeah. That cures corona. He got a Pal yeah. Palladial silver? Yeah, he claimed or that. colloidal, that, colloidal silver. Right. In a tweet, yeah. he claimed that that cured the coronavirus. Uh, and then he gets a cease and assist letter saying, knock it off from the Attorney General of New York. That was crazy. This man is a complete egomaniac, insecure fraud. I'm sick of him with his fake teeth and his fake hair. A pot. And he, yeah, and, and, and maybe we could ask his ex-wives what they think of well, him, Well, you too. think his hair's fake? I'm sick of this guy. Everything about him is fake. He tries to be younger. He talks about these pills. He, he said on our show, he said that saying the N-word, uh, calling somebody old is just as bad as saying the N-word. Because when somebody calls Wayne Allen Root old, he's such an insecure person, he can't handle it. He loses his mind. And then I called him a scumbag. That is something a very insecure person yeah. would say. And then I call him a scumbag on this show for toting, touting <laughs> that product Top that he claimed to cure the coronavirus. And then he threatened a lawsuit against me. And guess what? Hours later, he is fired from the Review Journal. He gets a cease and assist letter from the Attorney General of New York. So who was right about that one? He also texted me uh, about a month ago saying he was cornering the Las Vegas market with ratings on his local radio show. When it turns out the own radio station that he is on doesn't even pay to get ratings. That's how much they think of him. Okay? There is no ratings. They don't even pay for ratings. This guy is a known fraud, a known liar. And now Metro Police just backed me up on that, and they proved it. Nobody from Metro Police, according to Metro's Larry Hadfield, told him that he couldn't have this rally. Nobody told him to postpone it. He is a cop-out. That's what he is. And by the way, it's not the first time, J.D., that he's blamed Metro for something. Let me explain to you why. The October 1 shooting, where 58 people died. When it was all going down, he goes on social media and blames Muslims for it. He says Muslims did it. Obviously, that was wrong, and that was a disgrace. So while admitting that it was wrong, he won't apologize for it. You know what he does? He blames Metro. How? A couple of my friends from Metro told me that. doesn't take any responsibility. That's what people like that do. They push it on other people. He blamed Metro then, and he's blaming Metro now for his postponement of this rally you know, that, because he's a scumbag. That being said, Brian, I do think I haven't heard of one Blue Lives Matter protest or, or march across the country. This would be the first. I think it would be well attended, but I do believe that there would be some agitation from possibly Black Lives Matters or you know the Antifa, which is a very real thing. So I, I think it's a good idea that he did postpone this. And also, does, I don't I don't believe that that the police are really looking forward to having these two these you know, two or three major groups clash under those circumstances. So I don't blame him for postponing it. But obviously, he did not tell the truth. 
And the Metro did not tell him not to postpone it. But I do think that the event would have done very well had it gone on. And if it does go on, maybe in a couple of weeks, it'll do well again. So I, I expect this event to happen. I expect it to be successful. But right now, just as I talked about Drew Brees had the worst timing ever, this would be a very, this would be a very, very bad time to have a Blue Lives Matter protest. But if it did take place, I think it would be well attended on both sides from people who actually support Blue Lives Matter and people who, who clearly do not. Okay, but going to what I was actually talking about, it was about Wayne Allen Root. Yeah, I know, and, I, and, I, and I, said, I, I said obviously he lied about it. Yeah, he Or he, he, didn't, he didn't tell the truth about it. Yeah. Right, he lied, and, and he's using Metro to lie. That's despicable. It's absolutely despicable. He did it with the October 1 shooting when he said Muslims did, committed the crime, and now he's doing it with his little uh, rally that, that was postponed He's claiming that Metro told him to postpone it when Metro's own Larry Hatfield is saying that is not true. They wanted nothing to do with it. They said he didn't ask for use of the badge, for use of that badge. Uh, he didn't ask for permission. Which, which you should do. If you're, you're going to put something like that, which I'm sure is trademarked on a graphic, you can get you can actually get sued for, for doing something like that. But I, I don't think it's so that Metro is, is anti-Wayne Allen Root. I think they're just anti-situation yeah. because – it could get very, very bad considering what's going on nationwide right now. Yeah, well, I'll say this: he said there were going to be. He said that there were going to be ten to twenty thousand people at this rally. The man doesn't even have ten to twenty listeners in Las Vegas. So I mean, it's absolutely absurd. It's completely ridiculous. Yes, he's a he's a putz. By the way, he called me that on this show. He called me a putz. Maybe I should sue him. Maybe I should well, file a lawsuit. The context was for those of you who weren't listening back then, was that he wanted an apology from Brian for calling him a scumbag. And so he was coming on to get his apology. Which I gave. Which Brian then gave. Completely then, not sincere. And then a few minutes later, he called Brian a putz. So it was all out the window. <laughs> and by the way, all I did was question him on his own words. Okay? We see that all the time. Donald Trump is a perfect example of that. All I did was read some of his horrendous tweets and question him on it. I wasn't calling him names. I wasn't attacking him. All I did was say, why did you say this, Wayne? Can you defend that? And, you know, he defended uh, some ridiculous, horrific things like calling somebody old is the same as calling somebody the N-word. So should, should we be surprised that Wayne Allen Root is not a supporter of Black Lives Matter, that he wants to put together a Blue Lives Matter movement at this time? Oh, it just, yeah, exactly, exactly. And then I like my favorite part of the interview was when he was thought you guys should be simpatico because you're both Jewish. <laughs> Brian, I have New York Jewish friends. I don't understand. Yeah, like religion has anything to do with this, you dumb piece of garbage. Such a joke. Such a joke. Anyway, anyway. Sorry, Wayne, that you had to postpone that Did thing. Did you like sorry, my imitation buddy. of that was actually East Coast good. Jewish person? That was actually a very – I, I thought I, I – modeled it on your mom. I thought mom. that was a Wayne Allen Root no, person. Brian's, Brian's Wayne Allen Root sounds like your mother. He does I'll speak bit. to Brian Lida. Yeah, but trust me, my mother's much better looking, and she and – she, and, and she doesn't need pills to make herself look better like you, Wayne. She doesn't have fake You're teeth. You're so handsome, J.D. Yeah, she doesn't have fake hair and fake teeth like Wayne has.